Hi, my name is Pastor Jerry Ingalls from First Baptist Church in Newcastle, Indiana, and we are on a journey together of studying the Bible. I'm writing a short devotional thought on every chapter, and I'm sharing those with you. Today, we're looking at Job chapter 4. Where do you put your hope in times of suffering? Do you trust that you can get yourself through the situation, or do you call upon God to deliver and rescue you? In Job 4, verses 3 to 6, the first of Job's three friends, Eliphaz the Temanite, responded to Job's lament with a similar question. Behold, you have admonished many, and you have strengthened weak hands. Your words have helped the tottering to stand, and you have strengthened feeble knees. But now it has come to you, and you are impatient. It touches you, and you are dismayed. Is not your fear of God your confidence, and the integrity of your ways your hope? There's a reality that Eliphaz's question reveals to me as a caregiver. How will I handle my own suffering and grief when it's my turn to walk through the valley of the shadow of death? With all the counsel I offer to others through their difficult times, will that strengthen me to walk through my own challenging circumstances with faith, hope, and love? Or will my words evaporate like mist under the scorching sun of a summer day? There is only one way to guarantee that our counsel offered to help others is not like the dross which will be burned away. And that is to point people to hope in God as their sole source of confidence. My hope is not in the integrity of my ways, but in the infallibility of God's word. Isaiah 55 verse 11. May all the help we give to others point them to the Lord. As Psalm 121 verse 2 says, My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Seize the moment and put your confidence in God. Listen to Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. Seize the moment.